Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? So in yesterday's video, we talked a little bit about the new event and what you should prioritize in terms of the new shop uh, in case you couldn't get all the rewards. But I'm here to tell you today that you're going to be able to clear at least most of the shop. Maybe not all of it, depending on, you know, how these rewards actually works. But for the most part, I think that you should be able to clear like 90% of the shop. No problem at all. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to tell you guys how you can clear the shop and how you don't need to spend all your original resin. I know people were talking before this event even came out that, hey, save up your original resin because you're gonna need it for this event. No, you don't need it, hang on to it. Possibly for the second half of this event, or I guess the third part of this event, uh, I don't know for sure yet, but for right now, hang on to it. You do not need to use it. So let's jump right in and talk right about that. Okay, so firstly, I wanna talk a little bit about how this second stage works really quick, just in case you guys don't know. So basically, once you log in, you're gonna get a new quest pop up. You do the quest, you follow around, you follow up with the people who are sleeping. You're gonna talk with uh, a couple, not new characters, but a couple characters other than Fischl. And then eventually, once you do all the talking quests, there's a little bit of combat involved. You finish the quest, and now you get to actually take part in the event. So once you come up to your, your event page, uh, basically you're gonna have the second banner unlocked. Now, when you hop into the second banner, these are kind of all the rewards uh, you're looking at in terms of just completing them. So kind of like your, your quest. So uh, as you can see here, if you clear one, it's gonna count for all of them. So basically once you get a total of 30 of these meteorite clusters salvaged, uh, you're gonna be able to get all these rewards. So how do you go about clearing clusters? Well, you're gonna have to go and talk to Mona. She will give you kind of your assignments. And just like we saw before, some of these uh, clusters will appear on your map. You can then go to them. And basically once you get to the clusters, uh, this is where like your little ley line is going to activate. So basically there's gonna be a ring. You have to fight enemies inside it. And once you fight enough enemies or once you defeat enough enemies, uh, the ley line will be defeated. So it's literally just like a ley line. But the way the rewards work is you can kind of choose your difficulty. No matter what difficulty you choose, it's going to cost you 20 resin. You know, if you are really under leveled or you're just kind of starting out, you're probably going to want to go with the 55 recommended level. But, you know, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, uh, you can go with the recommend party level 75. So from what I've seen from the one I did, basically all your enemies are going to be level 75. So you can base your difficulty off what you're currently playing in the game and get these rewards. So why do you not need to spend original resin? So if we look at the whole rewards shop and we calculate everything up, so let's go into the reward shop real quick here. So once we add everything up, all the fragments, if we add up everything except for the Mora, right? Everything from Heroes went up. You're looking at a total of 966 of these meteorite fragments, okay? If we want to include the Mora, you're looking at another thousand, which would take us up to 1966. But if we look at the event overall, in order to complete this event, we need to do uh, 30 of these clusters here, these like meteorite ley lines. So if we take a look at the numbers here, if you were to do the minimum amount, right? The recommended level 55, you're getting 35 shards per run, which is 20 resin. Take that, multiply 30 by 35, that's gonna give you 1,050 shards, which already is enough to buy everything above the more. Now that's not including, uh, the shards you got from day one and day two, picking them up on the map, that's not including the little quests you do that give you, I think it's a total of 60 meteorite shards. So between the two, that's an additional 120. You know, doing that, now you're getting up into the, what, uh, 240 plus 150, 1050 is what, like two, 1290. And then if you do the highest tier, which is 45 meteorite shards, you're talking 1350. Okay, so between both of those, it's enough to clear everything except for the Mora. And then you have a little bit left over to spend on Mora. Now, the reason why I say don't use original resin on this is because if we then do the math, so we need to do 30 of these meteorite clusters, these ley lines, each one costs 20 resin. So in total, to do all 30 of your runs, it's going to cost you 600 resin. Now, if we were doing just the base amount, just what you get, from recharging, let's say you're only doing 160 per day, it's still gonna take you four days, which is more than enough time to get all these rewards. Now, if you wanted to use some of your uh, resin from the day, like you work down the 160 first thing in the morning and then you build it back up, you're reducing that time even more. Then if you wanna use Primo Gems to build up your resin, like 
it just gets easier and easier so absolutely do not use original resin on this i think it's an absolute waste unless you want to like do all this and then not waste your progression in the day and you want to go and do domains then by all means do that but there is no need to like just rush your way through this uh you're going to be able to get all the rewards and possibly you're going to want to save that original resin for the last stage of this event if you're new to gotcha games that's kind of what they do is they ramp things up in the last portion of the event um so you know if we look here there's still some kind of missing information here we don't know exactly how this is going to work um but this may be the point in which we want to use original resin we do not know yet so hang on to your original resin save it for the next part of the event or save it for all your domains and stuff but guys you should not have to worry about this event at all it should be very easy for you to clear the entire shop but guys that's all i got for today hopefully you did enjoy if you want to see some more content from me head over to my twitch page and if you want to support us right here on youtube go ahead and subscribe like the video if you liked it and hit that notification bell that way you never miss a video but guys like i said that's all i got for today hopefully you did enjoy and i'll see y'all in the next video peace